Absolutely. And the fact that you can do that in marble, it's, it, it's exceptional. It's one thing when you paint it, but... Nicolaus Copernicus. Just Nicolaus Copernicus. Schiller. Pius the seventh. Gutenberg. because I'm also talking. But as you said, I think horses is, uh, horse is one of the most difficult subjects to draw and you see a lot of very, very talented artists. Mm -hmm. And that's usually their Achilles heel. Because they can mm -hmm. draw something perfectly and then you see the horse anatomy is off. I mean, it's not... It's just that their muscles are so defined, so it's... it's... Yeah, and it's so fine if you also look at the, the skeleton, the, mm -hmm. Skull. Everything is beautiful. It's the setup, it, it's it's perfect. Yeah, it's magnificent, isn't it? Angel. So. If you, if you look at the subject in front of you, you mm -hmm. think first about. The line that goes through the middle of the body, usually, yeah. and you see a lot of artists, they hold the pencil like this. They, they hold it like this and they draw like that and they do the hatching like this. Okay. And that is because it allows your wrist and your whole arm, forearm to move freely. Okay. Because if you, if you use it like this, you, you feel fatigue in your wrist yeah. very fast. Mm -hmm. And it forces you to use the tip, which will wear off very, very fast as well. Mm -hmm. So you have to resharpen it. If you use the, the side, you can have these fine gradations and you keep it sharp as well yeah. and your hand is really relaxed. It looks, it's basic just like this, it looks a little bit more primitive than the yeah. elegant way, but it's, it's very ergonomic, so you know, when I look at the angel, I'm just going to do it quite fast, I'm going to mark the head, neck, arm. And with this, what I like is that I can, I can simply go uh, quite fast and unbothered. I don't, I don't think about mistakes because I can come back and it, when it's a little bit more scribbly, it actually looks nice. I really have to stop myself from just using uh, that's it. Yeah. So when you want to come up with details, you change the position. So fine and organic, the lines of the and you shouldn't try to make it look exactly like that. You're just learning, and you want to have a nice drawing, and you want to. You basically want to suggest the same message as the artist.
soon to do more because I'm just like, okay, when am I gonna learn? I, I'm also really new in this, if it makes you feel better. Because I'm, when I'm by myself, it's really difficult because I'm somehow trying not to attract any attention because in my head, I feel like I'm in the middle of everything. So I, I get really nervous. But uh, it, it is a completely different thing when you're outside. It is a completely different thing when you're outside. Because inside you feel like you're in your own world. Yeah. You kind of give yourself more time. It's not hard to go outside with the noise when it's no, noise. Control and the lighting is different. And yeah, yeah. Especially if you want to paint the light. You can, if you want to paint the light, if you want to paint a landscape and the light changes really, really fast. Yeah, it changes so quickly. Yeah, you, I think at some point you just are going to have to choose a moment and rely on your memory. Yeah. I made it like a little bit too short. Yeah, I think I will finish it. No. It's so difficult to film because it's such a small room. But still, you, you should get the distance with the Sometimes when I look at something from down upwards, I can't really tell how the perspective is going to be. It's uh, not that same. So, I'm going to get a little bit closer. And uh, it's a little bit worse. Kind of suggests the hips. It's going to be the knee. If it already suggests that it's a, it's a horse <laughs> ridden by someone, it's, it's good. I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry.
And if you can, uh, if you want to take a break, just let me know. Hmm? If you want to take a break, just let me know. Just do quick lines and then uh, just mm -hmm. shape it out. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have done this, this spit line here because it, it makes it flat already. So. Okay. I already draw people on horses and it's kind of difficult. So now I have to find it out. So you have to both like beware of the man's anatomy and the horse and like the yeah how they relate to each other and exactly, yeah. position. Oh, I'm sorry, do the shadow... Uh... Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, I messed it up a lot people. You did? Um, yeah, it just bothers me, the, the lines that I made too thick. Mm. So, this is where the belt area would be. Yeah. This should be lower. Do many art lines. I think maybe that's one of the things that I have to. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. You the, many of your lines are very arched and. Uh, yeah, curves are the most flowy. Important. You just draw from curves. Hmm? Yeah. Can I always make adjustments? But now I can't erase anything, mm. so I'm just gonna. So this. Always get stuck on like facial structure. <laughs> I always like. Yeah, that's I think what I'm trying not to focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's kind of very fast. <laughs> that's so cool. It's also important that you warm up, especially if you use a 
a second kind of pencil for the first time. Yeah. Just allow yourself to create some drawings that you don't like in the beginning and then... Yeah, and then at some point you all of a sudden almost like feel in the zone, you know, you just don't, don't think about mistakes, you just focus. It's actually really good for learning horse anatomy because he's, you should have focused more on the legs, but next time. Yeah, the legs of the horse, it's, the legs of the horse are very, very difficult. I can't do the little like muscles and all those tendons and the hooves. I kind of gave up and just drew some shapes. So I, but it, it, You're doing it absolutely cold, so to say, you you never you never really drew horses, right? Uh, only when I was a kid. Oh, oh right. this is really <laughs> impressive. Thanks. It's amazing in art that you want to, you can use it as a symbol for pretty much everything. Everything nice, poetry, freedom, wisdom, strength, courage, war, battle. A musical? Yeah, a musical, and, and it's based on the Odyssey. And it's not out, but all the songs have been written. So Is it new? It's it's um it's just a.